Chandra and this is the first in a series of lectures on logarithms. Let's start by defining log. The expression reads as log of a to the base b. I repeat we say log of a then followed with to the base b. What is the value of this expression? It is that power to which the base b needs to be raised so that the result is a. Let's look at a few numeric examples to make it clear. What if we have log of 8 to the base 2? The value is that power of base 2 which will result in 8. And we know 2 cube is 8 so the value of the log will be 3. Another example log of 2 to the base 4. Here 4 is bigger than 2. Do we have a power of 4 which will result in 2? Yes square root of 4 is 2 that is 4 raised to half will be 2. So the value of log will be half. What if it were log of half to the base 2? 2 to which power will result in 1 by 2? 2 raised to minus 1 is 1 by 2. So the value of the log will be minus 1. Based upon these definitions, we could arrive at some fundamental rules of logarithms very straightforward in a straightforward manner. Log of b to the base b. Which power of the base b will result in b? Obviously, b raised to 1 is b. So, log of b to the base b is 1. Log of any number to itself as the base is always 1. What about log of 1 to the base b? b raised to what power will result in 1? Remember, b could be any number. So, do we have a power such that any number raised to it is always 1? Yes, 0. Right? So, log of 1 is 0 irrespective of the base. A third rule, log of b to the power n to the base b. Before we find the value of this expression, what is this expression? Remember here b is first raised to n and then the log value is found. Had we meant it differently, if we meant the log needs to be raised to power n, we need to put log of b into brackets and then raise it to the power n. Having seen what this expression is, let's find its value. So b is raised to what power so that the result is b raised to n? Obviously the nth power. So log of b to the power n to the base b is equal to n. So far, we have been looking at logs in the logical definition way. Let's look at a few algebraic manipulations. We have already seen in the example that logs and indices have a pretty close link. So if we have a relation of the type log of a to the base b, is equal to x. We can get rid of the log and rewrite the same information as b to the power x is equal to a. It's good to look at it visually as the base b moves to the right hand side, pushes the x up a little that is b raised to x, the log gets vanished is equal to a. Let's use this uh, in a question. So we need to find the value of x if the given expression is 1. The expression given is log of another term involving log. If we look at the term of log which is inside as y, the expression reads as log of y to the base 3 is equal to 1. Eliminating log, the 3 goes to the right hand side, pushes 1 up, 3 raised to 1, we get y is equal to 3. And what is y? y itself is an expression involving log. So we have log of a quadratic to base 2 is equal to 3. Again eliminating the log, 2 goes to the right hand side, pushes the 3 up, 2 raised to 3. So we have the quadratic is equal to 2 cube 8. Taking 8 to the other side, we can simplify it as a very easy quadratic, x square plus x minus 6 is 0, which when factorized will give us x is equal to minus 3 or 2. Before we wrap up, Let's look at a few conditions for logs to be valid. Log of a. The a necessarily needs to be positive number. So is log 0 defined? Not really. a needs to be strictly positive. 0 is not allowed. So log 0 is not defined. But did we not see something to do with 0? Yes. What we saw log of 1 is 0. So can a log value be 0? Yes. But can log of 0 be defined? No. A similar confusion is with respect to negative numbers. Can log values be negative? Yes, we have seen log of half to the base 2 is minus 1. But can log of a negative number be defined? No. Hope that's clear. There are some conditions on the base as well. 
the base also necessarily has to be positive number. Zero is not allowed. In addition, the base cannot be one. If the base was one, we would be doing calculations of the type one raised to what number will result in A. We know one raised to any number is always one and we might not make it equal to A. Therefore, the base cannot be one. In the future lectures, we would continue with a few more rules of logs.